Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Another Brick in the Mall with me, Bigfoot. Today in episode number 21, we might get the series finished. I don't think so. I think it's going to be two more episodes, to be honest. But we've gone ahead and started off by building Rural Outfitters XL. So this is our new store, which is going to replace the old Rural Outfitters, just because it's outgrown its space, to be honest. And there's a lot of potential. We're not meeting the clothing demand, and I wanted a bigger shop. So what's going to happen is with this current clothes shop here, it's going to be removed today. We're going to do that very shortly, in fact. And then everything is going to integrate into this much, much, much larger store, which is good to see. So slowly but surely, I've gone ahead and I've populated a lot of the clothing racks and shelves. However, I've not done them all because I want to see what the really demand is, I guess you could say. Also to point out as well that I've also just started off with basically four stock clerks on at all times and four cashiers on at all times. So again, just playing with the demand and really see where it takes me to be honest, which is, again, I'm really unsure. That's why I'm so happy with the stock levels in this Superstore XL, by the way. Just look at it. For the place this size, it's doing really well. Arguably, yes, it's not the busy period, but even still, it's looking perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Just what I wanted. Anyway, we're going to come away from this and we're going to go ahead and clear this massive backlog here, which is pretty massive. Again, it's not filling up too fast, which is good. So again, I feel we've addressed a lot of our issues. What we're now going to start to do, though, is we're going to start to bulldoze this shop pretty much. I want to get the staff from this shop and move them over into the other shop. That's the real thing I want to do. So let's go ahead and remove all the items. Sad face, I know. Then let's go ahead and let's dezone rural outfitters. And then I should get a warning message here, which basically I'm gonna fire all the staff, but yep, they've all been fired. So this is now rural outfitters, RIP. What we are gonna do is we're gonna make some quite good adjustments I think which are really required here and I'm going to go ahead and first of all add in a lot more to do with our storage area that's one thing I'm going to do and I'm also going to expand electronic city that's another thing I'm going to do too so what I might do hmm I'm just thinking how I want the storage area to be I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to move it entirely over here so let me go ahead while we're at it let's go ahead and remove all of these normal doors. Let me remove this wall, let me remove that door, and this wall here. And for that matter, we no longer will need this corridor anymore either, which is super useful. So we can go ahead and get rid of that wall. We can go ahead and get rid of these outdoor tiles, and we can go ahead and sort all this out. We can also possibly extend Billy's, the butcher. Don't really think it needs it, to be honest, but I might split it in half, because Billy Twister, again, a comment from maybe episode 15 here. He said he'd like to see it split, and I'm quite for that, to be honest. So, again, we'll see how we get on this episode. Let's go ahead and foundation that part up, though. So, if we delete what's there, and then let's foundation it, so then it can actually be part of the building. Then if we go ahead and wall right along here, which is good, then if we go ahead and all of a sudden I've cut off access, I realise that, but... If we jump in here and add in staff doors there, there, and there, I realise that the placement of some of those doors was on previous placement, but hey-ho. Let me go ahead now and change the storage to up here as well, and then over to here, and then here. Could extend the toilets, we can do a lot here, and let's diesel that part, and let's go ahead and build a wall right down there, which is also good. Okay, so glad to see that. We can go ahead now and also add in the better flooring as well, which this place needs definitely, or the correct flooring, should I say. So let's go ahead and do that and do that into there. Then we're also going to go ahead and I think... Electronic City doesn't have a direct link right now, but it will eventually. So I'm just glad we've got a lot more stock in here, to be honest. But we'll come back and deal with this later in the episode because it's not a two-minute job. How are we doing over here at... Rural Outfitters XL. I mean, the shop is massive compared to what it used to be, and it is a really, really large facility, to be fair. What I'm seeing so far is that, in all honesty, it might not need to be this big. Uh, that's what I'm thinking in my head. However, we seem to be doing quite well with regards to actual people coming in. There's just a lot of people passing through, which makes things really confusing. So, 
Rural Outfitters XL is already up to a profit of 20,000, which is great to see. So it's doing fine in its massive place. I just don't know if it needs this much stuff. If we check the demand and we check clothing. Yesterday's, so I mean the demand is still greatly there. I can add some jewellery into this place because it is a secure facility, so I can happily do that. And then I think we've got everything else in here now, which is good as well. Women's and men's shoes, I've tried to meet that demand, hence why we've got all these shoes along here. But for some reason, I, that's either not updated or customers haven't found this place yet. So not really at all sure what is going on there, to be honest. But I will happily add in some jewellery that's something i'll do so what i'm gonna do just for the time sake i'm just i'm just gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of these clothing racks with just random pieces of clothing to be honest just so i can go ahead and make sure that you know the place looks a bit fuller what we'll also do with regards to shoes is i will add in a lot more shoes as well oh we need underwear that's something we need that makes more sense i do not want newspapers in here that's something we do not want Underwear. We need underwear. And underwear badly. I must have totally forgot about underwear for some reason. So let's go ahead and get some underwear in here. That will take up at least a bit more room, which is good. And then into... It's really weird how it's called men's underwear, but then women's laundry. I guess it could refer to bras and stuff as well, so that kind of makes sense. But guys can wear bras too. So, but we'll not get into that right now anyway. Let's uh, bypass that conversation very quickly. And then let's go ahead and just get a wee bit extra of everything on here. Again, filling it up. Right, so more underwear, more laundry, and we'll just do more women's shoes because that seemed to be the thing that was most in demand anyway. So at least that's sorted out now, which is good. Now what I want to do is, I think temporarily we're going to have a think here. Is Diamond Gems open 24-7? It's not, which is interesting. So that's actually quite a good thing because Diamond Gems is... Whereas we can sell jewellery in here 24-7. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and remove these clothes racks for now because I honestly don't think I'm going to need them. I think what we might do over in this corner of the shop is we might actually outsource this and I've got an idea for an arcade area, an actual like physical arcade area. So we might use part of the, this whole larger place for that. I think that would be a good idea. And then we've got lots of room up here for checkout expansion if required. But again, I think we maybe just overdone this place a tiny bit. Really difficult to estimate to be honest, but I think now going forward, we've found the perfect level for clothing here and I'm hoping if the demand's updated. Yeah, see, it's not, and it's really weird. Sell women's... Yeah, I mean, we're never going to meet demand three here anyway, so I suppose that's where all the demand is. We're meeting tier one, we're meeting tier two, and that's really all we can do, to be honest, without going ahead and making a dedicated women's shoes store, which I could do, actually, to be honest, especially if it's that in demand. So we might do that. We'll wait and see. Anyway, we're looking for bling bling. Forget about the cha-ching cha-ching. So again, this is going to be a bit of a security issue here, and it's probably going to take away from Diamond Gem as well. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and actually only have five tables in here, to be honest. What I'm going to do is remove this row here. Now, what I also want to do is I am actually going to start to segregate the shop off already. So let me go ahead and build a wall right up here. And then we will actually stop it. See, let's take away that area. That's the area we're going to take away, which is quite fine. So this corner here, I think what we're going to do is maybe actually not do a dedicated arcade area. I think what we might do instead is we might do a bathroom. Another bath. Oh, there's bathrooms right there, so maybe not. We need another maintenance center anyway in here, though. So let's do one, two, three line, and let's just make that the maintenance center. And then this corner here, we can go ahead and do something else a bit different. So let me go ahead and remove all of this, and remove that, and remove that. Then let's go ahead and unassign this from the store, first of all, as well. And then what I do want to do is add in a new door over here. Just because we have removed that other door. So I need security, security. Oh dear, where is it in this whole list? There we go, perfect. 
One way swing gates is something we've never explored either actually. Bit late now, but anyway, let's go ahead and leave that. So I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I could probably make it a little bit better, a little bit more profitable. We can add in some more items, but again, we'll just play off the demand. Right, okay, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and color that in. And then for this arcade area, I don't know what floor we're going to go for, to be honest. Let's just go for this, like, quite neutral, plain floor. I've done this the wrong way around, haven't I? Yep, that didn't work. I was thinking that wasn't working. Let's go ahead and change that and make that a bit more plain. What I think I might do is actually leave those doors in those locations. Or should we just not have walls? Also, that's the plane flooring and it looks hideous, the plane floor. I never realised, it doesn't look like it when you're flyle... Tile floor one, not flyle. Um, well, we could just go with this retro carpet here. Need to slow things down because the frame rate's hitting me again all of a sudden. Let's do that. Let's leave the gaps in the doorways and let's go ahead and leave it for now. So what I want to do now is grab a staff door there, grab a staff door same there, and then again we'll get some more cleaners in there shortly. Let's jump into decorations, is it in? It should be in decorations, it's not though. Machines? Yes, is it? Perfect. Right, okay, so arcade cabinet. So this is going to be like the arcade zone, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. So... Lots of these arcade machines along the sides here. And then let's get some pinball machines in here also as well. Which will be pretty cool. So this is the arcade zone of the mall now which is quite cool. So hopefully that should go ahead and get used a bit by some people. It's something a little bit different and something which just fills a nice small gap anyway. Which I'm quite happy with. Then up here let's jump into a sign. Let's do... Dum dum dum, maintenance sensor in here. Now I need to double check, where's the nearest maintenance sensor from here? Maintenance sensor over here, which covers this general area here. And then we've got another one over here, which covers this block here. So I'm basically having roughly one... I should have roughly one maintenance sensor per area. And I sort of do and don't. So, I mean, this will help cover the cinema as well, actually, which will be super useful. This isn't going to be a big maintenance sensor by any means. It doesn't need to be a big maintenance sensor by any means. Interestingly, it's also number three as well. Rural Outfitters might have been the third building we built. That's why it was given the number three and that got reallocated. So, that would kind of make a bit of sense. But anyway, jumping back over here, staff. Not going to hire a lot, to be honest. I do need probably maybe two janitors on at all time from here. I don't think we'll hire any builders out of here, though, in all honesty, because I don't think there's much need. This is a clothes shop, and we've got a cinema next door, so chances of uh, having to have builders for mice infestations is going to be lower in general anyway, I'm hoping. Plus, again, we've got a lot around here, so that should do the trick. So, those staff will arrive now. It'll help keep the floors of this place clean. Not that there is... There's a lot of people passing through, but because it's such an open plan store, they're not all standing on the exact same tile, which is good, so I'm happy about that indeed. But with that said, we're going to leave that for now, and... We're nearly done. We're nearly done, actually. It's pretty crazy. What I do think I'm going to do, I am still tempted to extend this corridor, move this corridor down, and go ahead and extend this place. Because I don't know what to put in this area here right now, in all honesty. I think we are going to go for a women's shoe shop down here, actually. I think that's what we should do. And that would work out perfectly. What I am going to do, though, is I'm actually going to go ahead and extend the security, the storage area here, should I say. Just because we're now going to have five shops dependent on it, which is quite a lot when you come to think of it. So, I do want to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and for women's shoes, let's go ahead and very quickly lay out this shop before we let the builders in. So, customer checkout wise, we're going to have two checkouts over at the side here. Then self-checkout wise, I think we're going to have, what, one and then we'll have two and then we'll have three and four. Four. So that should be fine. And then with that said, this will... Oops. Let's not build that. This is probably going to have quite some effect on the profit margins of Rural Outfitters, to be honest. But this can be like Rural Outfitters Shoe, for example. So try to make it like the same company sort of thing, to be honest. 
That would be an interesting system, which I'm not going to go for, actually. What we'll do instead is we'll indent you there. Yeah, that's what we'll do, I think. So let's go for that many shelves. So with that said, now let's go ahead and grab some doors. And let's go ahead and... I realise there's going to be queues right across here, so I don't know how customers would get in without jumping through the queues. Not that I need to worry about that, but it's not the most realistic, I guess you could say. So let's add in some doors here, here, and let's add a corner door in there, like so. Which I've really done corner doors in recent times. Let's go ahead and remove that wall there as well, so we can just go ahead and expand this place a tiny bit more. While we're in this menu and altering the storage area, we can also go ahead and add in the stored area for this place as well, which is cool. So store 51, you are going to become... Rural Outfitters Shoes. More specifically, women's shoes, but shoes will do. So, Rural Outfits. Did I decide on fitters being two Ts or one T? Fitters. I think it's just what I lose better with one T. Rural Outfitters Shoes is what it is. Perfect. So, what did I name this other one? Rural Outfitter. I named it with two Ts. So, let's just go ahead and jump back here. Again, I have to delete the shoes part, and then shoes, right, perfect, okay, so that's that done, so all we need to do is actually get some stock into here and go from there, so clothing, oh, here we go, women's shoes, oh my word, there's going to be a lot of women's shoes here, a lot, to be fair, we can go ahead and do this in stages, let's go ahead, we'll also need to add in an entrance from the storage area as well, so women's shoes, it's going to be 18 women's shoes things. Is that too many? I may be thinking that, to be honest, but we'll wait and see. Right, let's go ahead and get this place into operation. So let's hire some staff. Let's get, like, some cashiers in here. This place will be open 24-7 just because it can be. So let's go ahead and start some new cashiers at other times. Let's have one person in 24 hours a day. And then we can go ahead and just sort of, yeah, adapt to that, to be honest. So let's make this a 24-hour place. Let's go ahead and hire maybe another... I don't know, again, the, what the demand is going to be in all honesty, so... I'm quite curious. Let's have you on from, like, I don't know, say 2 in the afternoon. And then this other cashier can come in from... No, you are the midnight person. You're the 8 a.m., 6, 9... So you I need to change. Uh, you're just going to start at 6. So there we go. So that works out quite well. We can't obviously have three checkout staff in here anyway because we only have two checkouts. Makes sense. Let's go ahead now and just finish things up here by adding in stock clerks first of all. Uh, one stock clerk on at all times should be fine in all honesty. So let's go ahead and do that very quickly. Again, if we need to play off the demands, we will. And then I'm going to sort out the flooring because it's annoying me. Again, I think we're going to go with the same kind of floor because I really, really do like it. I like it a lot. And then let me go ahead and sort out the flooring here as well. And then let's go ahead and finally get a staff entrance into this place, which is cool. So that's good to go now, which is exciting. All I need to do is actually assign the storage area to this area here, and it's now good to go. So... Shoes. Bring in the shoes. Well, I don't actually have direct access yet. Now I do with that door, which is nice. So it really all depends. The stock clerk has arrived, which is super good. So we've got lots of shoes out there. And all of a sudden, here come the... Might not necessarily be ladies that are just buying ladies' shoes, though. And I don't mean that in a drag queen sense. I more mean that in a, a present sense, for example. So I was about to say, here come the ladies, but might not necessarily be, to be fair. So I'll give it that. But anyway, there we go. Uh, I think we're going to be fine for stock levels. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to populate the rest of this place with more shoes. We could add in some men's shoes. As long as the women's shoes are more than 50%, that meets the demand. Am I right? Yeah, it does, which is perfect. So I'm actually going to add in some men's shoes. Not as much men's shoes here, mind you. But we will do that. Because again, men's shoes were quite high in demand as well, to be honest. So I think it's good to have a balance between the two. And then that should solve most of our clothing issues as well, which is great. Okay, so I'm happy about that. We can go ahead and leave that now, and that should hopefully do relatively well. Again, we'll have to wait and see, though. 
So zooming back out, how are we doing in all things in general? We're doing relatively well, quite happy with how things are. Again, security, I need to do that off camera. I just never get round to it because I never feel it's that a high priority, I think, to be honest. What I think we are going to have to do, though, as we can see, this is a peak time here, and this place is just too busy, so we are going to extend it. Though that is going to take some time. We're just going to add in so many more checkouts, in all honesty, and we can also add in some more stock as well for under stocked items now what i mean by understocked items i don't think there's a menu to show me this oh interesting movies has really got a bit of demand could add in a movie store to be honest i would i would rate that a lot it's also really nice to see we're like overcompensating on the fast foods again we've got two massive fast food restaurants so yeah, it really seems to be movies right now that's is really struggling. We've also got lots of stuff in the middle here. We need to go back around to the bar anyway and just check that out. But what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and basically extend the shop. By how much? I don't really know. I would like to get something else in here in all honesty. So what I think we'll maybe do is we'll extend the shop by a uh, whole corridor's width here. So that's by eight. So what I think we'll do is we'll make this the new wall here. We're going to have to move that center. But if I make this 8 wide, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then this is where the new corridor is going to be. What I'm going to do is we're going to have to build some foundations. Nope, I need walls. Uh, we're going to basically just move, relocate this center just down to here which is fine uh, I'm also I'm gonna need a wall right along here though so this will be perfect we'll be able to get a nice shop in here could do a movie store this lot's too big for a movie store we could do quite a few different things again there's gonna be one more episode after this one today so tell me what your thoughts are really I probably will actually record it before this video comes out so I do apologize but I've got an idea of a few different things I could do, so I think we'll just go with some of them. Rural Outfitters is doing a lot better with regards to sales, there's a lot more queues going on. It's not bad anyway, but it's doing well. And the shoe place, yeah, it's doing not too bad anyway, so quite happy with it. Looks really smart to be honest, I really like the look of it. It is really cool, in my honest opinion. I really do like the black floorings that we've got in Rural Outfitters and also in uh, Garden World as well. I think they're really, really cool. Look quite modern, quite sleek, in all honesty. So, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's get back to this right now. So, for this to happen, we need to go ahead and make a few changes. So, first of all, maintenance center 48, 48. Let's jump into manage, maintenance center, and 48. I really wish you could just go ahead and rezone it. And I think I can actually cheat the system here. So, what we're going to do is we are going to cheat the system. I'm going to go ahead and maintenance center... Where are we? I've seen it. There we go. Perfect. We're going to expand it down to here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that, if that makes much sense. So they can't actually get into their own maintenance center right now, which is a bit of an issue. But we can go ahead and change that quite quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. Then let me go ahead and also clean out whatever's been going on here too and get rid of that door there. And let's go ahead and red this up like so we'll need to fill in the wall there then what i want to do is sort that issue out quickly not an issue but again just a personal preference let's go ahead and add in some new front doors here now what we're going to need to do is we're going to i need to detail this place up and it is one of the most tedious tasks ever but i think i've done it quite frequently and quite well around the place now so i'm quite happy one, two, three of those. Let's do two trash cans. Let's do two water dispensers. Let's do three pinball machines. Now all I need is the vending machines and ATMs is all I need. ATMs, perfect. Then there should be benches in here as well. Where are they? Where are they? Right at the bottom, of course. Let's get some seating in here like so didn't take too long that time to be fair right okay so what we can now do is we can go ahead and now open this up to the general public which is fine and then we can go ahead and close the other one so let me go ahead and first of all remove this door no keep that door remove this door and remove this door remove this door remove this door remove this door remove these bins as well while we're at it here 
We might also remove some of this clothing stuff here too. I'm unsure as of yet though. Which is fine. And remove that trash can there and remove all these items here. Then what we are going to do is we're actually now going to go ahead and zone this area off. And we're going to go ahead and get people to use the new corridor instead. Which is fine. It's totally functioning which is good. Let me go ahead and patch up the walls along here. Now let me go ahead and remove this wall entirely for the time being. Let me go ahead and add in the new flooring into this area as well, which is important. And then I need to do it along there as well. And then let me also jump into assignments and then the store. We're making the store even larger. I know it's crazy, but there we go there. So that's perfect. And now we need to just go ahead and pretty much add in the more checkouts, which is what we're going to need to do. So, doors. Let's go ahead and add in a door there, a door there, a door there. And that should do us for the time being. Checkout wise, uh, what are we going to do? Because we already have a lot of checkouts in action here. So, I think we need a combination of both sorts of checkouts, to be honest. We need self-service and manual. So let me go ahead and add in more checkouts. Nah, see what I think I'm going to do is, I think we're going to actually change this place up quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in checkouts along here. And I'm going to remove these old ones here for the time being. Then what we're going to do, I do want to overcompensate for checkouts to be honest, I really do want to. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to remove these items for now. And I think we're going to remove these self-service from this corner here. Because I think we're going to get more shelves in here in all honesty. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in a few more checkout counters. And then we're going to have... Dum dum dum. Where are we? Where are we? We are looking for self-service checkouts. So let's go ahead and add in quite a few of these. One, two, three, four... And then do one, two, three, four like that, which is fine. And then we'll do another small area of self checkouts over here as well. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is perfect. And then we've got an extra corner to put more items in as well, which is good. So that should hopefully go ahead and relieve stuff. Well, can also add in. We've gone from five down the bottom to an extra five. So we can have 20 staff working in heat at once now which is good. We'll wait and we'll see what the rush hour is like tomorrow. But let me go ahead and now facilitate this place here. So we're just going to go ahead and stick all this stuff up in the corner here, which is fine. What do we need? Now, when I was saying we need items which have not got a lot of popularity or not popularity, but I've not got a lot of, they're not placed down a lot. So for example, I'm seeing a lot of threes here. One, soap and shampoo. One on soap and shampoo. That's way too low. So we need to go ahead and make sure we've got three of every item. Then I also seen low numbers for toys. Uh, I mean, we should really probably add in a lot more of this stuff, shouldn't we? Make it up to four. Is there anything else which is incredibly low? Not really. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. So let me go ahead and... I uh, didn't mean to do that, but I guess they're also at three as well. So let's add more soap and shampoo. Let's add cosmetics. Let's add just a bit of everything, to be honest. Deodorants over here as well. Again, we could probably do with like a, a pharmacy sort of shop. We probably could have done with that in the series, to be honest. A bit late now, but that would have been a really good idea, to be honest. Actually, we can still build one across the hall, can't we? we still have one more place left. Yeah, I think we should maybe do that actually. Do like a health and beauty pharmacy sort of thing. I think that would be a really good idea. This is the best idea I've had in ages. Yeah, so that's what this can be a pharmacy over here. I think that would be a great shout. Right, okay, let's do that then. We don't really have time. We can get it started this episode anyway. Let's go ahead and finally just sort out the small floor problems which really annoy me but there we go so that's good and i'm also going to go ahead and be a bit cheeky and add in lots and lots of staff doors so they can get easy access out to looks a bit silly but it just means these shelves here can get stocked extremely quickly and again it just frees up our 
Stock Clerk team all in all. Again, queue-wise, we are handling the queues much better now. This is a really, really busy time. I do feel we could add in some more cashiers, though. But with the extra self-service, we seem to be doing okay. What's the actual profit margin on this place? That's my real question. I mean, first of all, Rural Outfitters is up to 27,000, which is crazy. So, really glad about that. And then Bigfoot Superstore XL is... Surprisingly not making as much as it once was, and I'm not sure why that is. It's really down, really down. Try to work out why it is, and I can't, nothing comes to mind except having overly long queues, to be honest. So, we're going to go ahead and add in some more cashiers, because I think that's the way to go here. So, let's go ahead and add in probably, what, three more cashiers at all times? Something along those lines. Let's hire, like, nine more people. Actually, let's just hire a random amount. As long as I don't go over 15, then I'm fine. But this should do the trick. So let's jump into shift planning. Let's jump into cashiers. We can see we've got 25. We've got a bit many overnight. We can only have 20 overnight. Not that that's the busiest time anyway. So that's us. Gone ahead and improved there. So we're at 1717. 17, 18, 18. I like that. I like that a lot. So let's go ahead and build and do done. And as we can see now, hopefully the queues will hopefully start to drop. Again, they're not too bad, actually, compared to what they used to be. We can possibly also get some more self-checkouts in as well. I do have a tiny bit more room here. But that is that. So, And that actually works out really well, because this aligns up with this here, which is perfect. I never coincidentally realized I was doing that, but that's good, because that makes a perfect crossroads, which I like very much. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much concludes this episode, in all honesty. What I need to do is we're going to build a pharmacy in the next episode. I'll probably get that started in between this and the next episode. Then I want to go ahead and focus a bit of time on these two here, the bar and the restaurante, because we're not meeting the demands there, which is a bit disappointing. Restaurant, fine dining, could be a bit better. And then with entertainment, that includes the bar. Yeah, we're also a bit short there. With regards to everything else, we're doing really well, which is good to see. So, again, individual items, we've come a bit short on. I do also want to go ahead and sort out what's going on here at Electronic City. And I also want to go ahead and add in... What were we going to add in here? I need to sort this out. Oh, we're going to split Billy's Butchers in two. That's what we're going to do. So, all of a sudden, think about it. The next episode might be quite a long one, because I'm definitely going to end it in the next episode. But... I've also given myself a lot of tasks, so I will do some of these off-camera, though, so it is fine. And I also want to just review every place before we finish up, so that's also very important to me. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you are new around here. Go ahead and share this video with a friend, just helps the channel really grow. Go into the description below, check out my Facebook and my... Not my Facebook, my Twitter, my Discord, and my Patreon. And that's all, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Bigfoots. And I'm out.